What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is a Jazbees 11 box slap shot hockey mixer. Random teams. Uh, I guess number one. But this is where we're giving away a game used Alec Martinez game worn away helmet, which is right here. I honestly don't think I fit in it. No, I do. Actually, I do fit in it. I just don't want to put it on, though. But there you go. It's really authentic, legit. We actually partnered up with the Kings game use equipment uh, guy and we do have some stuff that we're able to acquire and just to show you guys really cool really legit and uh, there's like the sticker and then you also get a little COA with it and a very very cool helmet guys if you ever get to come by our shop whenever all this COVID is over with you'll be able to see we have some other nice game used uh, memorabilia, including a Drew Doughty game used jersey. Again, comes with the COA of everything. Pretty awesome. So, again, if you bought a spot into this mixer or want a spot, you have a chance to win that at the end of the break. And again, all 31 spots in, all teams in. Randomized customer names, teams. Do the 11 boxes in here, which is a couple XBX boxes. Uh, SP Game Use Prime, OPG Platinum, OPG Aki Trilogy, and a couple Synergy, and a Black Diamond. Then at the end of the break, we randomize customer names again, and customer who comes in at number one gets the Alec Martinez Game Use a Worn Away Helmet, which, if you go to their website, not too pricey at all. I, I think it's just the price of a helmet, but again, Alec Martinez Game Used. So there you go. So good luck, guys. Uh, let's dice roll it. And... It's a five and a six, 11 times. So Chris, down to Joe. And if you have an A1 at the end of your name, that means you won that in the Allure Hockey Pack break. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and it wasn't 11. I see you though, Steven. Ducks have lost four years in a row, game sevens, and that is very harsh. But I just got to say the Sharks a little bit more just because they just haven't won one. And I think even though you lost four straight game sevens, getting a reverse sweep is, is much more worse, I think. Well, I, I don't know. That's <laughs> I guess you don't want to be in any of those situations, but I just, for me, I don't know. I just feel like you had to call the Sharks a little bit more. Ducks down to the Jets. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, or ten, sorry, and eleven. I know, I wonder if Sean was at that game. Of course, Sean is not here watching right now. I bet you he is. You can't say anything right now because he knows what happened in that series. And what the Kings have done in recent years. Alright. 11 times. Watch it's going to pop out of nowhere right now. <laughs> uh, Mike with the Red Wings. Steve with the Caps. William, you have the uh, Knights. Kevin, you have the Nucks. Mike with the Columbus Blue Jackets. Ryan with the Lightning as well as the Flyers. Matthew with the Blackhawks. Edwin with the Rangers. Chris with the Wild. David H. with the Kings. Kevin, you have the Stars. Scott with the Yotes. Joe with the Devils. Aaron, you have the Senators. And the Canadians. Wes, you have the Penguins. Derek with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Ryan with the Ducks. Steve with the Jets. Chris with the Panthers. Tony with the Sabres. Joe, you have the Preds. Jack, you have the Sharks. Uh, Joseph with the Flames. Uh, Graham with the Oilers. Mike with the Hurricanes. Ryan with the Bruins. Aaron with the Blues. Charles with the Islanders. And Tyler with the Avalanche. You know, there was this guy, and I'm sure Sean knows probably who he is. When, you know, when the Ducks won their first Stanley Cup in, what, 2007? 6-7 seven or 7-8, seven, whatever year it was. There was this guy at the, at, at the I guess as a fan, obviously. He ended up, he ended up getting a Ducks jersey that had, said Stanley Cups, Ducks won, King Zero. And that stung on me too, right? But... What was funny was that when the Kings won in 2012, I don't remember if he ended up changing it and putting 1-1. I think he did, but 
the fact that he had to change it again in 2014 and put two one. <laughs> so it's like you 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 kind of set yourself up for failure there. Doing that, and I always wondered if he ever did change it. All right, Tyler wants Avalanche up for trade. Uh, Jack wants to get a trade. Yes, Derek, I will help you out. I know you know nothing about hockey. So, yes, Derek, Maple Leafs is a pretty good team, per se. Um, obviously, there's some 18-19 in here, some 19-20. Have some good rookies, but, of course, you can chase veterans like John Tavares, Austin Matthews. Um, again, some older stuff like Prime from, like, 2012. Not too sure on those rookies, but more of the 18-19, 19-20. Two good years for the, for the, for the Leafs. <clears throat> Just with more veterans and, and a couple good rookies. Tyler, as well as you too. Avalanche are pretty good in 1920. 1819 as well, a little bit, but more 1920. So, of course, you have Synergy, you have a PG Platinum, and you have SB Game Use. A uh, Kale, or is it Makar? I'd say Maker, but whatever. Uh, he's a good rookie, one of the top rookies, so he's a good one as well. Um, but again, I won't influence you guys to trade or not to trade. If you guys want to trade, you guys trade. If not, then. And you guys do that. So I'll give you guys a minute. If no trades, then we'll we'll uh, start the break. And BJ, sorry about that. I don't want you to think I was just ignoring you, but uh, basically, BJ, we just have to sell out um, those two breaks in the transcendent tab, which is the hanger, which is at fourteen, and inception fifteen, which is at nine. Those are the last two win a spot breaks, and we're done. We can break open uh, transcendent tonight. Which I believe we will. <clears throat> so after this, guys, I'm going to do a quick inception break, number 14. After that, Prism Football tiered. And then once inception, number 15, and hangers sell out, number 4. Then we can break open Transcendence, I guess. All right, you're gonna roll with it, Derek. You're not gonna to want to trade, right? All right, let's just let's just keep it, guys. I mean, I don't think Tyler's not gonna trade Colorado. Then we're good. All right. So again, eighteen nineteen, which of course Vancouver Canucks big rookie year for uh, Elias Pettersson. Coach Kamiemi, a lot of good other ones. So let's kind of work our way back in time, actually. So I think this is what we'll do. Let's. What is this, 1819? Let's do it like this. I'm going to do it in order so that way we're good. So we'll leave these ones to kind of be the last ones. Not that Prime isn't good, but I just want to kind of keep it keep it in that. And this is 1920 Opeachy Hockey. So we'll start off with Prime, then we'll go to Opeachy Hockey, then we'll go to Synergy, to Black Diamond, to SPX, to Trilogy, to SP Game Music, and we'll end it off with Opeachy Platinum, the most recent ones. There you go, Prime Hockey. 2012-13. And I don't believe we'll have any Upper Deck Expired Redemptions. Anything 1819, I believe, is still pretty active. I think if we were 1617, we might be able to be... Uh, or 1718, we might be able to have to worry about that. But I believe we're good to go with 1819, 1920 stuff. And I believe Upper Deck still gives you at least a year after, so that's a good thing. Alright, so if you guys remember Prime Hockey, we did a lot of these one-box breaks... Uh, good patches is, that you can pull here. Not the greatest rookie class in 2012-13. I think it really skyrocketed in 13-14, especially 14-15. I still think that's one of the best draft years for rookies. And then, of course, you have 15-16 with McDavid. 16-17 with Matthews. 17-18. Okay, it's a little, a little down the year right there. But obviously 18-19 and 19-20. Uh, pretty solid. All right, we got a Patrick Waugh for the Habs. <clears> 
Uh, which is going to be going to Aaron. We got a prime time rookie, Carter Camper, 19 out of 50. Boston Bruins, Ryan with that one. And we got a John Tavares. Matt Watkins and Matt Donovan out of 100. Two Islanders and one Yotes. Or no, wait. These are all Islanders, actually. You must have got traded to the Islanders. I'll double check those, but since they're only showing this emblem, I'm assuming that this guy was traded to, to the Islanders. We'll double check that. Yeah, it's all Islanders, right? Yeah, he must have got traded to them. <clears throat> and look at this. Ooh. Genuine letters. One out of seven Nashville Predators. Grimson. Little G. Predators. Going to Joe. And we got a quad relic auto. Akeem. To one or 249 for the Flames. Going to Joseph. Right, let's go to the Dominion pack. Whoa, got a printing plate. Ayo. Oh, is that Ilya Kovalchuk? It is Ilya Kovalchuk. There you go. One of one Ilya Kovalchuk Devils Edition. And just lost to my Kings previous year. Then he retired, I think. <laughs> I think he actually retired this year. There you go. Uh, Devils going to Joe. And we got Riley Smith. Ooh, look at that. Nice patch. Six out of 99. One, two, three, four color patch. Oh, were you really? I know. Devils would hate you, Kovalchuk. Big time. Uh, that was just his way to get out of New Jersey because obviously they weren't going to trade him. And uh, they weren't going to be that good in a while, right? Uh, don't know if it's... Yeah, it is a rookie, actually. There you go. Dallas. Kevin with that one. Next one. Well, I remember, I remember a lot of rumors of Ilya Kovalchuk wanting to come play for the Kings at the time, but the Devils were not going to just trade him to the Kings, and they weren't just going to trade him at all. And uh, obviously, that's why I think he was forced to retire, just so he can leave and then play, obviously, in Russia with the KHL. But I think once he got his opportunity to come back, after his uh, contract was over, he came to the Kings like five, six, seven years later, but obviously not the same player he was. You know, but I'm so happy he got to play with the Kings at least for like one and a half seasons. Billy Smith, the 249. I I, I grew up a big Ilya Kovalchuk fan too. Such a stud with the Atlanta Thrashers. But anyhow, ooh, look at that patch, Joe Sakic, Colorado Avalanche, 12 out of 27. But yeah, I think him being with Ovechkin, whew, whew, and he's he's gonna do well over there with Ovi. It's like his best friend. Uh, yes, Steve. We just have to sell out those two win a spot breaks in the uh, in the transcendent tab. Once we sell those two out, it's over. We're breaking transcendent uh, after we finish everything else that sold out first. And we're down to six and eleven spots left. JT Brown, Steven Stamkos, Lightning going to Ryan Emerson. And look at that. Oh, look at, oh, no, actually, sorry. I was thinking of somebody else. I thought that was Mika Kipper's offers for some reason. Uh, Leland Irvin. Again, guys, I do not know none of these rookies in this draft class. It wasn't the best year. 32 out of 99. No one for the Flames. 
And Colby Rollback to 249. Quarter Relic Auto. Florida Panthers. Going to Chris. All right, Dominion. Oh. Oh, it's just the base. Damn. That would have been awesome. Andre Kopitar for the Kings. Six out of 125. LA Kings, David H. And what a nice patch. 86 out of 99. That's a rookie patch autograph of Matt Donovan. Islander is going to Charles. Alright, we're going to switch it up some Opeachy. Now, this is pretty much more of a very heavy base set. More collecting rainbows. Uh, but not really rambles, but just more of a set. And uh, they have some really cool cards in this stuff. A little different from Opeachy Platinum, but basically the rookie feel is going to look exactly the same. So just think of this as Bowman. Not Bowman Base, but Bowman Chrome. Just think of it as Bowman, where they're not going to be the Chrome feel. Uh, but they do have a lot of other cool stuff that you can hit out of here that people love. Yeah, four, 11 and 4 now. So, yeah, just remember, guys, once we're done with these breaks here, after Prism Football um, tiered, then I think it's open for us to break open all Transcendent breaks. So, all one-pack break, one-box breaks, whatever it is. So, basically, just Hangar 4 and Inception uh, 15. <clears throat> so, like I said, I, I think we still have plenty of time to fill a Transcendent, which I still believe that. We will be breaking it by like 7.45, 8 o'clock the latest. So plenty of time. You like the minis the most, Joseph? I actually, we, I, we didn't get to break any of this when it came out. We just bought some boxes for the store. I remember seeing a customer actually buy some boxes. And it looked pretty cool. What I liked about the Opeachy, if I remember correctly, it has the the player cards, right? Where like it, uh, it's like you're playing cards, but the player is the background. Yeah, there you go. Build a deck. Exactly. I also think, you know what, guys? Damn. I think Credentials Hockey is coming out this Wednesday still, isn't it? Eric Carlson. New Tavara, Jake Gensel, 33 out of 100. Wenberg, and here's one of those players' cards I was talking about. These look so cool. I will tennis leave that for you, King Henrik. Milan Lucic, 38 out of 100. Zadina rookie. Pulls his RV, man. Is he ever going to make it? Jeez. 60 out of 100. Yeah, it's for, you know, honestly, Derek, it's, I feel like all these guys just really create the same type of product, but just name them different. 9 out of 100. They just don't want to say that they... Didn't copy anybody. Tomas Hurdle. There's a player's card right here. These are so cool, though. These are my favorite ones. Vegas Golden Knights. Checklist. Blake Wheeler. 
Miller. Paul Grundstrom. Brock Besser. Nutivara. Out of 100. Paul Giroux. Team checklist. Ryan O'Reilly, Greenway, Noel Julson. Hurricanes team checklist. Florida Panthers, number nine out of a hundred. Quinn Hughes. Rasmus Rostolainen. David Perron. Did it really? Well, someone that has like PSA 10s of everything and like that's all they're missing is like that's what they wanted probably. So it wouldn't surprise me if someone bought it for that price that was just missing it. It's like I gotta have it for my collection. Some crazy people out there like that. I get one out of a hundred, Riley Smith. Craig Smith to one hundred. Joe Thornton. James Neal for the Flames. Patterson and Vladimir Tarasenko. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, so I'm just projecting that we're going to do that. We're going to do that uh, transcendent by like 8 o'clock. Around there. And I'm sure we'll send out like little email blasts and stuff like that. So like customers now. Alright guys, let's move on to 1920 Synergy. Again, you could get autographs out of this product. <clears throat> More for the technology cards. If this product had like one autograph per box at least, I think it'd be a pretty good product. But again, you'll see why people like it. Really cool cards though, don't get me wrong. So yeah, guys, uh, anybody that's listening, uh, I think one those those last two Transcendent Winner Spot breaks are going to sell out soon. I'd say by like 8 o'clock after I get this break done, Inception, the quick two-box break of Prism, and finish off the last two Hanger and Trans uh, Inception 15, uh, we're going to have, well, Transcendent will probably be breaking by like 8 o'clock, so in an hour and 15 minutes. I don't think anything else has sold out that I know of. But around 8 o'clock, and it's going to break tonight no matter what. So 8 o'clock Pacific, 11 Eastern.
Ooh, it might have got an autograph here. Wow, that'd be crazy if it is what I think it is. All right, let's check it out, guys. Connor McDavid, NFL, uh, NHL Journey. And Evgeny Malkin, Sensational Seasons. And you got a Max Jones rookie. Jack Hughes to 9.99, Exceptional Beginnings. Wallstrom is a rookie. To 7.99, Dante Fabro. Cal. Fres Boys. Nico Sturm to 9.99. Quinn Hughes. Capo Caco. Trayer to 3.99. Austin Matthews. Noah Dobson rookie. Trayer again. Kachuk. Carl Grunson to 3.99. And Impact Performers. Ovi. Next up, Crosby. Then we got a Jack Hughes to $9.99. Got a little Jack Eichel. Got a rookie. Julian Gauter. Henry Glunquist. Nathan McKinnon. Exceptional Beginnings. Trayer. Carey Price. Josh Jacobs, not that plays for the Raiders, but plays for the Devils. Eric Braunstrom, Leon Dreisaitl, Rem Pitlick, Tara Heroes, Matthews, Brem Burns, Poen, Crosby, Belsers. With the Olofsson to 199. Dan Pose, Blake Wheeler. Grunstrom, Patrick Kane. Too, Jack. Like I said, the court cards are cool. Don't get me wrong; they're nice cards. I mean, if these are considered rookie or base cards, but I just, I just think if you could just put autographs in these boxes, it's just, I just wish that you can just do that. You know, like it's just more autos, just something like that. That's all I'm asking for. All right. Let's go with 1819 Black Diamond. Of course, you guys have seen a lot of this stuff. 1920, but 1819 year. Elias Pettison. Exquisite bonus pack. There's that. Rangers. Brian Leach. Hall of Fame rings. Nice, Steve K. Well, we still have a lot of other stuff to do, but we'll be doing those a little bit later. I'm very sure. So, like I said, I think Inception should be breaking by like 8 o'clock. Look at that. Flyers. Jack of Warchuk. 
I have no idea where that pack is from. There you go. Little jumbos. And we, look at that. We got a diamond in this box. How about that? Noah Juleson. 67 out of 99. When you were chasing Kotakan Yemi, you were getting this guy instead most of the time. There you go. A little diamond. And that's going to go to the Canadians and Aaron. Look at that. More more bling for you, Aaron. There you go. And John Lee for my Kings. 143 out of 149. And Marc-Andre Fleury. That's 8 out of 10. Low serial numbered. Vegas Golden Knights. Going to Willen. All right, let's switch it up to 1920 now. Everything here is 1920. Most pre, uh, most uh, up to date year. I meant to say. Remember, every pack is a hit. And we got Johnny Hockey. A little relic there for the Calgary Flames. Around 8 o'clock, Daniel. I have a little break schedule still here. Um, I just will have to do the other two Transcendent breaks. So by 8 o'clock, I'm, I'm assuming. For sure now. Now that it's sold out. So I heard that now those other breaks are sold out. So around 8 o'clock. So after this Hockey Mixer, quick Inception break number 14. Then switching to Prism Football, tiered random teams number 6. And then I'll break open Inception 15 and update 4. And then transcend it. We got Brett Howden. It's 299. Or oh, sorry, this is 1819, right? Oh, sorry about that. I thought this was 1920. 1819. So you can chase Elias Pedersen still. And we got a relic of Henrik Borkstrom. Not numbered. And. Wow, look at this, guys. Man, I, I am a Connor McDavid magnet. 7 out of 10, Connor McDavid. I don't even know. What this, this looks like a piece of his glove. That looks like a piece of his glove. That's awesome. 7 out of 10. Going to the Oilers. There you go. Very, very nice. No, that's not his skate. Uh, could be the tongue, but I think it's the piece of his inside of the glove, maybe. I felt it. No, it is. It looks like it's on card, though, but... I think it's on a sticker. Are we? No, it's on a sticker. It looks very good, though. It doesn't make you think it's on card, but you can kind of see the crease. All right. Got the guy in the box. All right, we got P.K. Subban back when he was with Nashville. Sam Steele, the 299 for the Ducks. Going to Ryan. Little black lustrous rookies. Nikita Kucherov for the Lightning. Going to Ryan. All right, what's here? What's the auto? It's a Casey Middlestad, and what a beautiful patch. Look at that, 19 out of 40. And I would like to touch the patches, guys. That's awesome. There you go. He's a level 1 RPA in Cup. More of a scorer type rookie, besides Darlene being the defenseman that he is. <clears throat> there you go. Tony with the Sabres. Yes, 
All right, now we're in 1920. Trilogy, Game is an OPG Platinum. Alright, good luck. Blake Lazart. Max Jones to nine ninety nine. Rookie Premier is Adam Fox. And we got a rookie premier level two autograph to one ninety nine for the Bruins. Seni Schnen. Bruins going to Ryan. Got Capo Caco to 289. Trilogy level 3. That's a tough one to get. And then we got a patch. Number to 49, level 2 of Jesper Bothquist. Sweet. Two more boxes. Anders Lee is Landers. Nico Stern to two ninety five. Nassim Kadri. How about some more Connor McDavid? Seventeen out of twenty five. NHLPA rookie showcase standouts. Going to the Oilers. Very nice. Another one there for the Oilers. We got an All Star bat, or sorry, All Star banner here. Sidney Crosby. Penguins. Going to West. And Pekka Rene. All Star weekend. Predators. All right, guys, and the last box. Good luck. And then you're off with one of my favorite sets of the year besides cup hockey. Peachy Platinum. Yes, BJ. We will be doing that transcendent very soon. As like I said, after this after this I gotta do quick inception break, prism, then the next two uh, breaks, hanger and inception fifteen. So I'd say around eight o'clock. We should be able to break that transcendence. Again, I don't. I mean, I don't know if you won the extra one, or we were being generous, or it was a mistake. But 
Uh, email us. I remember I told you, but. I do not, BJ. I don't do the whistle thing. I have a goal horn if you want me to use that. I just feel like every hit's going to be a goal horn hit, but maybe I'll whoop it out. I used to use that a lot. It's just that we've been doing so much fire products. It's just like so many, so many goal horns at one time is just going to go crazy. But I'll bring it out. Tarasenko. To 50. I have to go get some penny sleeves, guys. Connor Timmons. Victor Olsen. That's right, BG. You know what? I am going to go do it. But you know what? I could pull the big hits without having to whistle. <laughs> Connect me after ninety nine. Tapes to one ninety nine. Is that enough? Where's the autograph? Oh, is it right here? Yes, it's Miro Heishkinen. There you go for the Dallas Stars. And there you go, guys. Let me go get some penny sleeves really quick. Let me penny sleeve these up. It does, Jack. It does. There's a lot of things that could have deserved that goal horn. <laughs> Pull straight fire for you guys. Throughout these last couple couple weeks, months that I haven't used it. And I usually never just use it just because I forget to put batteries in it. Kevin, there you go. I'm your high school. Alrighty, guys. Well, there you go. That was the break. So, now let's switch scenes. And again, end of the break, randomize the Alec Martinez Game Worn Helmet. Customer name at number one gets it. Which I don't know why I don't have the list right. I thought I did. Roll it. And it's six and a one, lucky number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times. Joe Clanton, who got this in Allure number one. Congratulations, after seven times, you just won this Alec Martinez game used away helmet. There you go, Joe. Very, very nice. And again, very cool helmet. As you can see right there. Visor and everything. There's the COA there, all the padding. There you go. They even have the Ace and Mark sticker on there. Very sweet. And again, it does come with the original COA as well.
So there you go. Congratulations, guys. We'll do some more hockey mixers uh, in the future in hockey breaks with more of these uh, LA Kings uh, game used memorabilia because we do have a little bit here in our store. And once you guys are able to come visit our store after all this uh, COVID is over with, come check out our store, guys. Really, really nice store, 3,000 square feet. Again, we do have some game used uh, memorabilia for the Kings in here as well that is for sale. And of course, very, very nice shop. Appreciate it, guys.